Hello and welcome to a new presentation by Learn Codings. Today's subject, Quartz Sand. And the subject is how do we use quartz in epoxy floors? There's actually five ways we can use quartz, the sand that you're seeing in this picture, in epoxy floors. And let's go right into the five uses now. The first use of quartz is an uh, using the sand as an anti-slip aggregate. So when we want a, a, an anti-slip floor, a floor that's rough, then you can use sand to create this texture like in this picture. This is from a factory we did that was an, an oil, uh, olive oil packaging factory and they wanted a rough surface because they didn't want the workers to be slipping on the epoxy. So we made a rough surface using quartz sand the whole idea here is that you can use various sizes of sand depending on how you want to do it. You can use small sizes of sand for smaller anti-slip coefficients and larger ones. Here's a picture of someone actually applying, broadcasting the sand while, this is an, while we're making the floor. So you apply the wet floor and before you actually, the floor has dried, you, put the, you throw the sand on top and then you can create the anti-slip layer by obviously applying another coat on top of the sand. In this specific example here, we used the sand size was 0.8 to 1.2 millimeters, which is quite a big quartz sand size because this packaging factory was packaging olives and they really wanted a thick coating to protect them and protect the workers from slipping. Now the second use of quartz is a filler for self-leveling systems. We use quartz sand as the third component when we apply self-leveling. And just to show you a picture here, so the final finish of the floor is smooth. You can actually see the sand, but the sand is inside the epoxy. The idea here is by adding quartz to the epoxy, one, you make it more resistant to abrasion, but more importantly, you can save money because quartz is much cheaper than epoxy. Therefore, by using quartz to bulk out the epoxy, you're getting a better consumption per square meter, and that way you can reduce the costs of your project. The third use for quartz sand is using the quartz as a filler if you need to grout the cracks or cove. So in this example here, we're seeing two workers. They are constructing epoxy coves all around the corners of the uh, this wall. The reason was this was like a hygienic, uh, this was like a kitchen where they were using the place to wash wash stuff and they wanted coves up the, the edges of the walls so the um, no water would get stuck in the corners. And you can actually use mixed quartz with epoxy to make it thicker and then you can shape the coves like in this picture. Number four is using quartz as a decorative component. This is actually probably the most impressive of all. Take a look at these pictures here. This was a hotel. They wanted to redo their floor and they wanted to make their floor look like a beach. So what we suggested was, why don't you use quartz sand to make it look like a, a real beach? So what you do here is you apply a base, a wet base coat, you broadcast the quartz on top, as we see in this picture. So you create the beach look and in the next picture here, we actually then applied a top coat, a transparent top coat that kind of gives the uh, protects the quartz from slipping and also protects the whole system from the sun. And in the end, this is a hotel on the island of Kos in Greece. Today, it's a beautiful hotel with a beautiful pool pool bar. Let's go back to the previous slide. And it's all in operation. It looks really good. And now let's go to the fifth and final use of quartz. And you can actually use quartz as a bonding agent. And what we mean here is, when you are coating in between epoxies and you have like a, a thick layer to add, you can use quartz to kind of enable intercoat adhesion. In other words, you can make sure that by sprinkling quartz sand on a wet primer, you can then assure that the next coat, especially if it's a high build coat, it will bond well with the primer. Um, make sure you only do this when you're actually applying thick build coats, because if you apply a thin build coat on a primer with sand, the sand will show in the next quote in the next coating. So this is a good suggestion when you are applying a thick build, a high build coating over the primer. 
And here's a picture. This is actually a, uh, a picture of a freezing chamber that had these old tiles. We ground the tiles, we applied a primer, and then we applied sand. As you can see in this picture, we've applied sand on the primer because on top of this, we did place a three, a three millimeter polyurethane top coat. So we use the sand to enable this bonding between the primer and the next layer. Those were the five reasons, the five ways you can use quartz. If you enjoyed this presentation, please take a moment and like this, uh, like this video, share it, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel. All this helps us spread the world. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want more information, you can visit our website, www.ktesis.eu, for more information on our epoxy products. and our all, You can learn all about our epoxies, our metallics, our decorative coatings. And on learncoatings.com, that's where you get the education. You get our articles. You, get, you can sign up to our newsletter. Find out when we're bringing out new videos. You can find out about our epoxy training courses, our online training courses. Visit learncoatings.com for that. Thank you very much for watching.